some of the uh, Air Force would come over and uh, drop sandbags on the Utah, the old Utah. And, uh, and, but they never did drop them on Sunday. And so we sat there and we said, well, something's wrong. This is not a test. So that's how it all happened, see. But um, some of those, some of those Jap planes flew right next to our ship, you know, and just kind of looked at it and smiled. It's, you could just see the smile on their face. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't want. They didn't want a ship like ours. They wanted the battleships and they wanted the carriers, and they were awful unhappy because the carriers were out to maneuver. See. But uh, they did a good job on the battleships. The first wave got quite a few, and then the second wave come over, and here's these guys flying low, right, just flying over us. And the old, I can always remember the old red scarves they had wore all the time. And they, and they were fluttering in the wind, and just like you could reach out and almost touch them, it was that close, you know. And, all them guys had a smile on their faces. It made me so mad. But uh, um, it, it was quite a it was quite an ordeal. It um, uh, I couldn't figure out what was going on. And uh, um, after after it happened, after the second wave happened, why they. Um, uh, they went and uh, uh, took all of us. They said, we're putting you in some motor launches and uh, we want you to pick up the bodies in the water and uh, the live ones and the dead ones. So we had, after that, we didn't see our ship for three days. We took them to the hospital. We, we took them to the morgue. And the water was just black as tar. You know, it just just black that diesel fuel, you know. And uh, uh, it was hard. You take a white sailor's uniform and, and drop them in this tar atmosphere in the water. They, uh, uh, you can not I mean, a lot of times we go out in the boat and we pick up these guys and and. Uh, some of them would be floating. You could see them, but you couldn't re actually see them until you got up real close, you know. And uh, a lot of survivors, though. There were quite a few. A lot of them, uh, a lot of them that were lucky enough to be topside up on deck in the Arizona got off. But the ones that were all inside, on duty, engine rooms and so forth, they, they didn't have a chance because that bomb went right down that stack. I mean, that was a, a one in a million chance that that would ever happen. But it did happen. And uh, that thing just, it just, uh, just kind of blew up, kind of bulged out a little bit. You can, you can just see it, you know. And uh, it shook everything because it was such a big explosion underwater, underwater, you know.